Hello boys and girls, Mrs. Hannah wanted to read you a story today and this story is all about starting school. Um, hopefully some of us will be seeing each other really soon and obviously some of you will be starting to move on to big school after the summer holidays. So I thought I would read you a story that looks at how starting school can be very exciting um, and I thought we'd share it together today. So it's a new book. Miss Hannah's just got it, so some of you might not have seen it yet. So I'll just angle it so you can see. Kipper, Kipper's the little boy here, was excited. It was his first day at school. He was feeling a little bit scared though too. So he wanted to take little Ted, that's his teddy bear. All right, said Mum, but don't forget your book bag. And these children have got a green book bag. So at preschool, we have a blue book bag. Then Trish, oh, hang on, Miss Hannah's missed the page. <laughs> Mum went into the classroom with Kipper. He was glad that he had a new, his new friend Anna was there and a helper teacher called Trish. She met them at the door. Trish showed Kipper where his peg was. He had his name on it and his picture was underneath. So Kipper put his bag on his peg. Now we put our bags in a big box, don't we? And our drawstring bag is on the peg. Then Trish showed Anna and Kipper a special box. Now put all your toys in here, she said. They will stay nice and safe. But Kipper really didn't want to put little Ted in the box. He went back to his peg and he put Ted in his book bag. Kipper's teacher was Miss Green. It's time to begin, she said. So Mum said goodbye to Kipper. Kipper was a little bit worried, like sometimes like you get worried, but we must remember Mummy's always come back. And Kipper's mum says, Kipper said, will you come back for me? And of course Mum said, yes. Don't worry, mummies always come back. They do, mummies and daddies. Miss Green took the register and they all sang a song. Miss Green said, we're going to look around the school now. Well, Kipper wanted little Ted to look around the school too. You can show him around after school, said Miss Green. So sometimes you can't take your teddies and things with you. And she showed them the toilets. Here are the toilets, said Miss Green. If you need to go, make sure you go. Don't leave it too late. Then Miss Green showed them the hall where they were doing P.E. Biff and Chip were there. That's Kipper's brother and sister. We're having an assembly. We have assemblies in here. And they eat their lunch in the hall, the teacher said. Playtime was fun. All the children wanted to play on the logs. They take it in turn, said Miss Green. So they're going outside to play. Kipper wanted to get Ted, but Anna called him. Come on, come and play, she said. So she wanted a play friend. After playtime, the children did a drawing. Anna drew her lamb and Kipper drew a picture of, can you see? He drew a picture of his Ted. Can I get Ted now? asked Kipper. You can get Ted after school, said Trish. She's the teacher helper. We're going to do handprints now. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Kipper made three green handprints and Anna made a red one. Can I show Ted, said Kipper. Soon, said Trish, after school. Anna's nose was itchy, so she rubbed her face Oh no, and now she's got some red paint on the end of her nose. Miss Green helped her clean it off. Anna got a little bit upset. Then Kipper and the children made Anna laugh so she wasn't upset anymore. It looked like they were doing some dressing up. So we use our friends to cheer us up. And sometimes the teachers can help you cheer up too. Soon it was time to go home. I can show my pictures to Ted now, said Kipper. He looked in his bag. 
Oh no, but Ted wasn't there. Kipper began to cry. I've lost little Ted, he said. Don't worry, said Trish. We'll find him. And just then, Anna put her hand in her bag. Look, here's Ted. You must have put him in my bag. You see, Kipper's very happy about that now. Mum and Dad came to get Kipper. Did you have fun, said Dad. Yes, said Kipper. But I'm going to leave Ted at home tomorrow, I think, said Kipper. I think that's quite important that although it's sometimes you really want to bring a soft toy to school, sometimes it's quite a good idea to, to leave it, maybe in the car or at home, because they can get lost. And at big school, sometimes you don't need those, those teddy bears anymore because you'll be turned into big boys and girls. This is a story about Biff, Chip and Kipper, and it's created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Burchutter, I think you say. So this one is all about starting school. So maybe you would like to listen to that one. Hopefully Mrs. Hannah will see you all very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed the little story about Kipper. Bye bye.